Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play an old time tune called Seneca Square Dance, so I hope you'll stay tuned. And before we get started, if you like this video and find it to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're here for the first time and not yet subscribed, I post videos just like this every week, twice a week, so consider hitting that red subscribe button below along with the notification bell so that you can be updated every time I post a new video. All right, so for this tune, we're in the key of G major and we're starting on the A string. So I'll play the first little phrase, it goes like this. Okay, and we do have quite a few slurs happening in this tune. So if you want to try to learn the bowings along with the melody, feel free to do so. Otherwise, if you want to start by just learning the notes and the rhythms first, and then do a second pass with this video and figure out the bowings, you can do that as well, whatever you're comfortable with. All right, and next we start on open A again. <laughs> Okay, so we have sort of a double up bow there. And then next we start again on an open A playing the same notes that we did for the first phrase. All right, and then our ending again starts on A. We have some faster moving eighth notes for this section. So listen closely. So what I'm gonna do now is go back and play all of the A section so that you can hear how it all sounds put together. And you're welcome to play along with me if you have those notes. One, two, three. <laughs> Next, we head into the B section, starting on our third finger D on the A string, and then moving up to the E string. Okay, so that's our first phrase. For the second phrase, we start the same way, but end a little bit differently. So still starting on that third finger D. Okay, so you probably noticed I used my fourth finger for that B, so make sure you're comfortable reaching up to that high B and using your fourth finger. Next, we start on a low second finger on the E string at G, and we make our way down to the D string. Okay, and then the last phrase is gonna be the same as the ending of the A part, so we're starting on an open A. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and play all of the B section together, so feel free to join me for that. One, two, three. And that is the whole tune. That is all of Seneca Square Dance. I hope you enjoyed learning that one. Congratulations for making it all the way to the end. And if you wanted to add some more to this melody, once you feel comfortable with the notes and the rhythms, you wanna add maybe another layer, there's the option of adding in some double stops here. So you might've heard in the opening clip, that's the way that I was playing this tune is with a lot of double stops. And that's something you can definitely incorporate if you choose. So the way that I would do that here, starting with this a part is simply have a continuous double stop from the A string and the D string. So we would start off with just balancing our bow between the A string and the D string. And then when we switch over to our D string as the melody string, we would include our open G as our drone string. So that would sound like this. All right. 
right? So we've got that continuous double stop happening throughout that A part, and you can do something similar in the B part as well, just choosing places to add in those double stops and adding the drone. Typically with a tune like this and with our key of G major, we would use the lower string as the drone string, although that's not always the case in this particular tune that works really nicely, so you can feel free to do that. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed learning Seneca Square Dance. Leave a comment down below. Have you heard of this tune? Do you know this tune? If it's your first time learning the tune, let me know how it went. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Happy practicing. If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I linked in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.